The joys of living in a student house are waking up at 8 a.m., going to the bathroom, going to take a shower, and then realizing you have no hot water, meaning you have to go to co-op and top up the gas card. Hello, welcome back to my channel, and welcome to like a day in my life, but this is like a post-essay, me trying to get my life together kind of day. I have not slept properly, I've not eaten properly, I am so dehydrated, like I've barely drank any water for the past few days. And overall, like everything is just really messy around me and I kind of need to like sort all of that out and revise for an exam. So recently I've been going to the library a lot more. I used to not be a library person in year one. However, I actually like the trek to the library now. I go through botanic, I do a little bit of procrastination to try and find the perfect seat. And then I sit down and basically take up the entire table with my stuff. I really needed to do anatomy because I wasn't scoring very well in like those mock quizzes we get. So I thought, let me try and make a mind map of all the things that we've done so far. Specifically, this was neuroanatomy. I sometimes get asked questions about what resources I like to use for anatomy. My personal favorites are Teach Me Anatomy. I like Ken Hub as well for their diagrams. Although I think sometimes Kenhub is slightly too detailed. I also really like using Geeky Medics. I use their platform a lot, especially when I'm trying to understand sort of the clinical context behind what I'm learning. I think it makes more sense to do anatomy first and then move on to physiology and then pathology. And Geeky Medics, like they organize their website very well. I talked about this last year in one of my videos, I think it was my exam video, but basically I grouped my lectures together with all of the relevant sort of learning points and with this lecture it made more sense to then do collapse causes so I was looking at seizures, types of seizures, epilepsy and then I also went on to do a little bit of OSCE revision because later that day I had self-directed learning so I basically was trying to cover a lot of content in like a short amount of time but I sometimes find that to be very efficient when it comes to studying because it's sort of like a crash course almost so this was like a crash course in neuroscience and pathology for me. After that I decided to go home and get ready for SDL so I needed to change into my scrubs and then quickly have lunch. I made this really nice za'atar cheese and cucumber sandwich. It was very very simple but very tasty. I won't have my glasses on so I really hope the mess behind me cannot be seen. So I've just come back from my SDL which is self-directed learning. Essentially all you're doing is practicing a bunch of clinical skills. So I practiced pretty much everything I think. The one thing I find really really difficult is blood pressure. I think I've spoken about this before but I actually failed that station in my OSCE because I did it so badly. So this time the fact that I could hear the blood pressure and I well, you can't hear the blood pressure, you can hear like the sounds. The fact that I got a measurement that my friend also got, it makes me feel good because, you know, at least two people got it. So either we're both right or we're both wrong. So I hope we're right. I could also really do with like a good two hour nap, but I'm going to resist the urge to nap because if I do, I won't fall asleep at night. I realized that I've never done a bedroom tour. I really want to film one. Hopefully I can film it like this week because I really like watching these videos. And I think compared to my bedroom last year in uni, which I did not film because I did not decorate it. I actually have put a lot of work into decorating my like student house bedroom and trying to make it look nice and look pretty. There's some art I made. There's a nice poster my friend got me. There's a scapula. There's another mug because I like to drink tea throughout the day. Although I think that one's from water. Um, yeah, I'll show my proper room. This bedroom is quite dark. There's very little natural light. And also there's some really weird like stains on my walls. I don't know why. I don't know what the previous tenants were doing. So I covered them all up with posters and postcards. Like they're everywhere. And then this is my this is my lovely view. I think the barbed wire really gives a lot of personality to the bedroom. It makes me feel so safe. Basically, whenever we turn our gas heating on, this happens outside my bedroom. Pretty cool, I think. Although the first time it happened, it scared the shit out of me. To finish off my day, I decided to go to the library again. I tried to do work in the house, but then I got distracted with cooking and cleaning, and I thought, you know what? Let me put on a nice outfit and go to the biomed library. Then I decided to go for another walk to my friend's house. 
before going back home. It was quite a nice way to just end the day because it had been a pretty busy day in general. And yeah, that was my day in the life at medical school. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye!